And I had another group of people that came to say, hey, we really, really, really like your work as a politician, as a person that cares about our district. Um, let's go ahead and, and we really like for you to run for Senate. So I did that. I, I served four years. And I can tell you, though, that that experience gave me an opportunity to have a real uh, breadth of knowledge across the state about how truly education informs and impacts every aspect of what we do, right? Everything in any kind of economic development, any kind of like that, you know, the foundation of workforce and the quality of people that we're producing for the workforce is the key driver. Um, but I can tell you that my heart and soul has always been in and will be continuing this new role. I care about kids and I care about teachers and I know absolutely that the most important thing that we do in the state of Missouri is put the most resource and support around those educators because they're the ones that make the biggest difference for kids and the kind of learning and the opportunity for us to see them grow. You know, so and that, I, I really appreciate that you said that. And I would say like in my role as a, you know, a principal working at central office, mm -hmm. I, I would say one of my faults that I've gotten better at over time was it really kind of like, hey, I always say we always got to focus on what's best for kids, right? We got to focus on best for kids. And sometimes it would also, it would almost be like in a detriment to the adults. Whereas, you know, as I've grown, and this is what I really appreciate what you just said, is like, if you really want to help kids, you have to help the adults. You have to serve the adults and make sure that they have what they need to be successful. And I, I appreciate that you um, ha have that focus in, in the work that you're coming into. And this is actually, this is, this was, by the way, when we were talking about doing this, I was like, this is a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Right. Cause it's like, so like, do you, first of all, do you like each other? Like, this is kind of a weird thing that you're like, <laughs> one's taking the job and, you know, like, you know, starting the job over and, um, I full disclosure. And I actually have this in print because you were, we were talking before and, and, and Margie and Carla told me like, basically they're working together so that you know, Carla can build on the work that has already been done by Margie and the team before. And I, I told him I was going to read this quote because I this is actually how I've kind of seen this before. Um, I said, too often we want to push our own personality onto a new school community and not embrace any of the things that have been done in the past that are good. This is actually a move that politicians make, I apologize, and why many people are increasingly frustrated with governments around the new the world. A new person is elected and wants to do undo everything that was done prior because it kept Keeping it might be an omission. The last person did some things well. So that has been what I've seen before, but this is a totally different, you know, you, now I feel guilty for writing that. Cause I'm like, except I should have wrote in brackets, except for Missouri. For Missouri. It's except not for your Missouri. Education. Yeah. So why, like, why, why has this been so like, I, I am not going to lie to you. I love that. That was something that you brought up because it is something I, I remember working in Canada and one of the provinces we had an amazing education plan done by the government. And then actually the, a new person came into the role, same party, everything. And they just undid everything. And I was like, why would you undo it? Like even, even the staff really like what was going on here. So I love that you're saying like, Hey, we want to actually like kind of build momentum, not just kind of stop and then start something totally new. So why, why has that been so important to, this transition as you're going through and I like I just I so appreciate that that is a focus of, of the work that you the, the two of you are doing together. No, yeah, well, I'll, I'll jump in on there. Um, for me, it was so important. I had a board member who told me a while ago uh, that that doing state government work is more like uh, running a relay race than a, than a sprint. Uh, you want to get things finished. You need to see things finished on your watch, and it is almost impossible. And if you do the start, stop, right now, the average tenure of a commissioner is less than three years. If you're doing start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, you're not getting anywhere. Our job is to build a foundation, pass the baton, and let people improve upon the work that you had in place. Missouri is a little bit different in, as well in that our constitution fairly much spells out that we have eight board members who are on eight year staggered terms, hmm. uh, really designed to maintain some of that sustainability. So they too have bought into this strategic plan and this visioning of what we're working to accomplish in Missouri, namely that around early learning, literacy, uh, success ready students, teacher workforce, they're all committed to that. And so they wanted to make sure that the next commissioner was also committed to those goals and continue to move forward with that, that work. 
Will I, do I believe that Carla will change some of the things that I did? I think she should. Uh, do I think she will do better in a lot of the things that I had than, than what I had done? But do I hope that the foundation is there so that she can pick, take the, the baton that I'm going to hand her and just go because time is short and our kids are counting on us.